Hey there! Today I want to show you all ad types with Google AdMob in Unity, especially the rewarded ad, as some of you requested. So the first thing you have to do is create an ad unit for every format you want to have. I already created a banner and an interstitial. It's really straightforward. So here I create a new ad unit and choose the rewarded ad. I always put the platform, the format and the app in the name. Actually, this one is for the Rocket game, so I changed that. In here, you can enter an amount, so you can customize it later without changing your game. I leave the other settings as they are. You can always come back to your add units and see your IDs and change the settings there. So after we created all ad units, we have to download the mobile ads plugin. We're currently using the latest build with version 6.1. If you have any issues, you can always check the issues tab and search for it or create a new one if it's not already reported. You can download the package and then just double click and import it to your current project. And then it's already time for some coding. I created an ad mob manager class. Here. I created variables for all ad units I created in AdMob. We have to distinguish between Android and iOS here. You should always start with testing ad IDs so you don't get blocked by AdMob. We also need variables for all types of ad units. These comes with the imported package. Now, the first thing we have to do is initialize the mobile ads. And then we can create our ad units in separate methods. I also like to request a banner and an interstitial right at the start. The creation of the individual ad units are very similar. You just create a new class and pass in the right ad ID. For the banner you also have to pass in the size and the position. For all ad units we also add an event handler if the loading fails. For the interstitial we add another event handler for on ad closed. And the rewarded ad gets two event handlers. One for on ad loaded and one for on user earned reward. The requests for all ad units are built the same. You create a new ad request and then call the method load ad on your ad unit object. To show the banner, you can simply call the method show. The question mark is to check that the banner is not null. For the interstitial, I made an extra check to be sure that there is an interstitial loaded. To show the rewarded ad, we first have to request one because we don't request it at initialize. And that's why we added the event handler on loaded. If one request failed, there is something wrong with your configuration. Or I might be a bad teacher, so the idiot is for me. So if the rewarded ad is loaded, we can call show on the rewarded ad object. When the user closes the ad or AdMob decides that he can get the award, the method handle user earned reward is called. Here we can call our own ads manager class. I will show you that in a second. If you want a rewarded amount, which you entered in AdMob, you can get it here from args.amount. We will use a fixed amount in our game, so we don't need to pass it here. So, our ads manager have one public method rewarded at finished, which is called by the AdMob manager. Here, I simply add 200 coins to my coin manager, which stores it in the database. I also tell my menu UI manager that we are finished to make some UI changes. I show you that in a second. But first, let me show you what the ads manager is for. This class initializes the AdMob manager and is the public interface for our ads. We have one method to hide the banners and one to show an interstitial or an banner ad. We always decided to show interstitials just every five games so the player doesn't get annoyed too much. We check the runs in the method should show interstitial. And before I show you the UI manager, let me show you the UI first. Here we have one button with the text watch now. This button calls the menu UI manager and the method show rewarded ad. Let's just start the game and see what happens. First the coins get loaded from the database and the banner ad is shown. When I click the watch now button an ad comes up. I can close it after some time and now I have 3700 coins. 
So, back to coding. The first important method in our UI manager is show rewarded at. Here, we set a button text to loading and disable the button until we are finished. The method rewarded at finished is called by our ads manager and here, we set the text back to watch now and enable the button again. We also update the score from our current coins. The last thing you have to do is save your app ID to Google App Mob. You can do this under Assets, Google Mobile Ads, Settings. There is currently a bug that the IDs are not saved. A workaround is to activate the delay app measurement and deactivate it again. And now you can build your app. The ads should work the same as in Unity, but here you will see the loading text for a second for the rewarded ad, because it really loads an ad from the internet. And that's all. You now know the three most popular ad types. So, I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.